Hello friends. This is last part of CSV column mapping tutorial with PHP script using Ajax jQuery and in this part we will discuss how to import select column data into MySQL table by using PHP script with Ajax. So for import selected CSV column data into MYSQL table, for this, we have go to index.php file. And here we have write, dollar with document selector with on method, and under this, we have right click event, with import button id import, so when we have click on import button, then this code will execute. Under this, we have write event dot prevent default method. It will stop to reload web page. Next, we have start write Ajax request, and under this we have write first option URL, and here we have write import dot PHP it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method. In this option we can define, by using which method, we have to send data to server. So here we have use post method. In third option, we have write data, and in this option, we can define which data, we want send to server. So here we have send first name, last name and email variable value has been sent as data in Ajax request. In fourth option, we have write before send callback function. This function will be called before sending of Ajax request. Under this function, we have write dollar with import button id import with attribute method and under this we have write disabled this code will disable import button next we want to change button text so here we have write dollar with button id import with text method and under this we have write importing this code will change button text lastly in Ajax request, we have write success callback function. This function will be called if Ajax request has been completed successfully and it will receive response from server. Under this function, we have write dollar button ID import with attribute method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have write disabled, and in second parameter, we have write false. This code will enable import button. After this, for change button text, here we have write dollar with button id import, with text method, and under this, we have write import, so this import text will be display on import button. For hide this CSV file data from web page, here we have write dollar with division tag id process area with CSS method, and under this method, we have display property with none value, it will hide this block of data from web page. And after this, we want to again display upload area. So here we have write dollar with division tag id upload area with CSS method and under this we have display property set with block value it will show upload area on web page. Next we want to reset upload form so here we have write dollar with form id upload form with zero index with reset method, this method will reset form field value. Lastly, 
We want to display success message on web page. Here we have write dollar with division 10 ID message with HTML method. And under this, we have write data. It will display success message on web page. So here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to import.php file and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post first name variable if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code under this block first we want to make database connection so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three parameter. In first parameter, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name is equal to testing. In user name second parameter, we have write root, and in third password parameter, we have write blank value. After making database connection, we have write session start function. This function will start session variable on this page. Below this, we have write dollar file data variable is equal to dollar session file data variable. In this session variable, we have store CSV file data which we have store under this local variable. After this, we want to delete this dollar session file data variable. So for this, here we have write unset function and under this, we have write dollar session file data variable. This function will destroy this session variable. Now we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar file data variable as dollar row variable. By using this loop, it will fetch data from dollar file data variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to open and close bracket. First, we have to define from column. We have to insert data in first name table column. So here we have write dollar row width dollar post first name variable. Under this variable, we have store column name for first name table column. Same way, we have to define column number for last name table column. So here we have write dollar row variable with dollar post last name variable. In this variable, we have store last name table column. And lastly, we have to define email table column number. So here we have write dollar row with dollar post email variable. In this variable, we have store column number 4, insert data in email table column. So, on every loop, it will store whole CSV file selected column data, in this dollar data variable in array format. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function with dollar data variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into CSV file table with table column like first name, last name and email with values. And here we have write implode function with two parameter and in first parameter we have write comma and in second parameter 
we have write dollar data variable this function will convert array into string and make insert query for insert bulk data in single query execution below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution for execute query here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with message like data imported successfully this success message will be displayed to user on web page so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page and on this is web page we can see file tag with upload button so here first we have select csv file and after this we have click on upload button after click on upload button here on web page we can see csv file some data has been display on web page and here on header of each column we can see select box from this select box we can define column and at the time of importing of data that column only that column data will be import in mysql table so here we have select first name so this column data will be inserted in first name table column then after from this column select box we have select last name so this column data will be inserted in last name table column and lastly from this last column select box we have select email so this column data will be inserted in email table column so this way we can map csv file table column after selecting email table column select option here we can see import button has been enabled for clicking so we have clicked this button after click on this button here we can see success message on web page so this way we can import only particular csv file column data in mysql table by using php script with ajax jquery if you have any query or input regarding this tutorial series please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also